This is the children on a daily basis doing their schoolwork. These are three of Julie Jones's five children. I'm reading in between. All five are school age. Only one has an option to go back to class. They've got one tablet between them and one laptop between them. And it is very difficult. But where we haven't had access to the internet, there's the tablets and the laptops are no good without it. Oldest child, Hayden, is dyslexic. It's better for me to actually, like, say if I've done one-on-one -on -one with a teacher, I can't do it now because I'm stuck at home instead of in school. Today, the Prime Minister defended his government against claims school closures are exaggerating already present inequalities. This government has put its arms around the people of this country throughout this crisis and has done its absolute best, has done its absolute best to help. So don't sit up in Parliament and talk about you've got your arms around the community. There is, I don't feel it. Beverly Wong is a support officer with the charity Chips in Brixton. She says the government's promise to provide 230,000 computers by the end of the month, 14 weeks after the lockdown started, is too little, too late. I've got families who do, who do not have laptops, who do not have Wi-Fi, and so our charity has had to source laptops, get Wi-Fi dongles, and we've been giving them to families who are in need because how is a child expected to learn and engage with their education when they don't have the resources. In Peckham, these volunteers are as worried about feeding tummies as curious minds. A lot of children um, would normally get free meals at school, so that's an entire area of support that those children are no longer getting. And if they're no longer going to school, the teacher might not be able to sort of check on their welfare as well um, and speak with the parents and see how they're doing. Back in Brixton, Julie would admit she's struggling. Her laptop's not working on and her angst is increasingly turning to anger at the new zoos and theme parks will open before her children's school. I do find it very frustrating at the fact that they can't go back till September, but yet you've got groups of theme parks that are going to be making their money, basically, and their education suffering because they'd rather open up attractions instead of putting the education system first.